hey guys welcome to my channel my name is roxy for those of you who are new if you are here from my previous video which is part one of this wash day i'm going to leave the link um up here if you haven't but if you are here from that video then welcome back so as you guys know my hair is washed i just did a hot oil treatment and now it's time for me to wrap my hair guys my hair is about i want to say almost three months post relaxer so i have a lot of new growth so i guess this is going to answer the question whether you can wrap your hair um, or mold your hair without having a relaxer or if you can wrap natural hair so i'm gonna test that out today today i have these two mousses here i had the nairobi rapid shine and the pixie-ish mousse um i decided to go with the pixie-ish mousse i haven't used it in a while and i just want to test it out on my natural hair especially at the back back so i'm just working the mousse throughout my hair and as you guys can see, as I'm working it through, I have a lot of texture and waves. This is because my relaxer has completely grown out, especially at the back. So my goal with my hair is to just grow it out a little bit so I can get some, some box braids for the fall. But like I always tell you guys, I always end up cutting it because... I always end up cutting it because I just love rocking a pixie, but I'm going to try and hold it out as long as possible. And also, I'm trying to grow back my edges. I've been wearing wigs for um, the entire summer, and I've been doing a lot of gluing and stuff. So it is getting a little bit thin, and I'm worried that it's going to get so fragile to the point it's not going to grow back. So I'm just going to try and treat it as much as possible, which is why I did a hot oil treatment prior to this. You can check it out. Um, like I said, I'll leave it in the description box below that video and i'll also leave a link up in the top left or right corner i forgot <laughs> so i'm really i'm really trying to work through the mousse into my roots especially because it is not relaxed at the roots so i have to put in a lot more effort usually to wrap my hair it takes like a minute but this process took me like a good five minutes i wanted to make sure everything was like smoothed out and that every single part of my hair got mousse and yeah i just wanted it to lay as flat as possible so as you guys can see i'm still working it in um every time i lay it flat it would rise back up because my hair is curling curling so much at the roots and you can see the waves at the back and the sides i definitely need a relaxer but i'm going to try and hold out this might be my last mold um yeah this might be my last mold like before i get a relaxer um, because it just it's just a lot of work i'm going to be doing a lot of other styles i've been doing ponytails lately guys yes ponytails with my short hair i've been doing half up half downs and ponytails with two side bangs and stuff like that so i'll leave some i'll make some videos to show you guys how i how i achieve that with my short hair and yeah if you guys want me to at least so um i'm just putting on the wrap strips now i always use um wrap strips to wrap my hair this one is the mega wrap strips i'm gonna leave the products in the description box below for you guys to check it out if you if you're interested so yeah um this is as smooth as i could get it uh, it's not too bad not too bad but if my entire head was um natural i don't think it would i don't think it'd be possible to achieve a mold i think my relaxed tips really helped to lie it down so i'm just sitting under my hooded dryer i'm i'm using the red uh red by kiss dryer i'll also leave that in the description box below for you guys to check out and this is how my hair looks once i took off the wrap strips so i mean it doesn't look smooth at all but it does help the process definitely does so i'm just taking my blow dryer and this is gonna help um smooth it out even more um so it's gonna help blow out the waves and the kinks um just to you know smooth it out so that when i do go ahead and flat iron it it's gonna be so much easier and so much smoother
so my hair is getting a lot fuller it looks really thick and nice especially at the roots and this is simply because my hair is natural <laughs> so i'm just looking to see if i need a trim i do need a trim just a small trim but i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna do that when it gets really bad so now i'm just going to style my hair i'm using a heat protector first before i run the flat iron through it i love how full my hair is it's it's looking it still looks healthy but i do need to take care of my edges so i am going to give the relaxer a break for a bit and just continue to wash treat and blow dry it um and just do other styles um in the future until i'm ready to you know cut it back again because you know i'm going to be going back so i'm just taking my pencil flat iron this is a red by kiss and just smoothing out the back here um, it's getting pretty smooth obviously i need a cut so it has a little bit of length at the back and i need to reshape my hair but the point of this is just to smooth it out to see if i can even achieve like a sh like a relaxed look with so much new growth and as and as you can see the new growth is smoothed out um it looks like i don't necessarily need a relaxer although having a relaxer would make this process a lot faster especially in terms of molding it and it would make it a lot easier because I wouldn't have to do that blow dry, the blow drying part. So, I mean, if your hair is natural, especially if it's a looser texture than mine, I would consider my natural hair a 4C. Then you can definitely achieve a, a mold and style without relaxing your hair, I would say. So at the top, as it's getting longer, I'm using my one and a half inch flat iron and this is the babulous flat iron it's very popular i see a lot of hairstylists using this flat iron which is why i purchased it as well and it's really good so i'm just going to continue to style my hair until i get to the very top i didn't have a particular style um i didn't even necessarily want to wear my hair in a pixie i just wanted to see if i can get my hair um smooth and achieve a pixie with so with all my new growth at the back and i definitely did and i also just wanted to see if my hot oil treatment had made a difference in how my and how my hair is styled and how it feels um so i did use the lusters pink hot oil treatment in the first video and i did not feel much of a difference when i when i um finished my treatment so I don't know if it is doing anything special or if it's doing anything in particular to my hair, but I'm, it just makes me feel good that I did something good to my hair. So my hair came out pretty smooth. I was able to achieve a pixie look even without having a fresh relaxer and with so much new growth. My hair is looking healthy and my goal is to definitely grow it up a little bit more, especially to take care of my hairline and my edges. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video, even if it was one thing. Um, I love sharing my journey with you guys. And I'm excited to try new styles moving forward. Let me know if you guys are interested in watching how I do a ponytail on my short hair or even a half up, half down style. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.